First up, New York Post has the headline, Oregon man freed after using Molotov cocktail to start fire set six more cops. That's calling cops as in, according to the cops. Now, just yesterday on the daily social distancing show with Trevor Noah, he had to dispel the myth. The lie, the crazy conspiracy theory getting around the internet that it was Antifa starting these fires. And this is a rumor that I actually, I first heard from my friend Kat, who's uh, an honorary producers club member. He said, Adam, you got to look at these fires on the West Coast. These are not natural. These are not happening organically. There's, there's a sabotage happening here. And at, at, at any other time, I'd be totally skeptical. But even Trevor Noah on the Daily Social Distancing, Distancing Show pointed out that it was a sheriff's deputy in, in one of these counties in California or Oregon where the fires are happening saying that it was Antifa who are setting these fires. And then the uh, the, the, the sheriff um, had to come out and say, no, we don't, we don't believe that that's what it is. And, you know, are you Antifa or not? Do I care? It, it, only in the sense that I, I see that if this is what it is, it's part of a bigger election year effort to sow chaos. Or, to, to, I mean, think about uh, California Governor Newsom. Related to Nancy Pelosi, he gets to go out and stand in front of uh, an area where there's a fire and there's a, a, a burned car. It's very dramatic. And say, look, global warming is real. It's undeniable. So who is this? If, if, if not Antifa, I, I mean, I don't care. Do you call yourself Antifa? I don't care. You walk out of the crowd, the mob, and say, well, I'm not Antifa now because I'm not wearing a black mask. Now I'm just throwing a Molotov cocktail to go start some fires. An Oregon man was charged with using a Molotov cocktail to start a brush blaze in the wildfire devastated state then busted again just hours later for allegedly going back and starting six more. Domingo Lopez Jr., 45, was first arrested Sunday afternoon after witnesses told cops he started a fire on the grassy edge of a Portland freeway with an incendiary device made out of a plastic bottle with a wick, the Portland Police Bureau said. Now, like again, is, is this guy Antifa or not? I don't care, but you're, you're going to get caught with a Molotov cocktail starting forest fires right now, well, gee, who else is using Molotov cocktails in in, uh, in America's streets to cause chaos? Oh yeah, Antifa. Again, I don't care how you identify, but what's the effect of this? And is it deliberate? And can calling it out and pointing out what's really going on change the public awareness in a positive way? I think so. I think it's really important to know who's behind this. Now, I'm not going to say decisively it was this or it was that or it's it's Soros money or it's, it's Trump money. Uh, and by the way, yeah, it's Trump who's really benefiting from this. Yes, Kibono, who benefits from the chaos in the streets right now, it's Donald Trump saying, look, it's all these lefties responsible for this. Therefore, you need to reelect me. I'm the law and order candidate. I'm the one who's pro-police right now. He admitted starting the blaze, which was extinguished without any injuries or property damage. Cops said Lovis Jr. was booked into jail at 6.45 p.m. Sunday on charges of reckless burning and second-degree disorderly conduct, then released on his own recognizance later that night. Court records show. He was found walking along the edge of the same highway just after 3.30 a.m. Monday as cops joined fire crews to investigate reports of six more fires. This time, he appeared to start the fires with a liar, which was seized as evidence. He was taken to a hospital for a mental health evaluation and issued citations for six additional counts of reckless burning. Luckily, all the fires were cut early and no one was injured and no structures were burnt. The alleged arson comes as Oregon, 
is one of the worst hit by wildfires devastating the West Coast with at least 10 dead in the Beaver State. Is it a wildfire if it's started by an arsonist? I guess it becomes a wildfire at some point. The suspected Molotov cocktail attack comes as officials have also denied rumors that fires have been deliberately started by militants connected to ongoing Black Lives Matter protests. So why would officials be denying these rumors? Because they're not just rumors. There's evidence of this. Now, one of the things that Kat sent me was a video of a woman who caught a guy starting fires with a gun. She caught him with a gun, pulled him over, pointed the gun at him, got him to lay down on the ground and get arrested for this. Ashland Police Chief Tyga O'Meara last week called rumors that one of Oregon's worst fires was being eyed as started by Antifa. 100% false information. Now, when they come out and say something like that, you know they're lying, right? Because they can't say that. Can can they can, could anybody say that that this guy even if even if he's if he's just some crazy you know lo, lone lunatic I would say lone gunman lone cocktail man right then you still can't say oh he had nothing to do with Antifa he had no political motivations he was just a crazy guy so. You think, all right, well, maybe that's Adam. Maybe, maybe you've got, Adam, you're putting together, th this isn't a pattern. You're, you're looking at isolated incidents. No. OregonLive.com, our next headline, man arrested, charged with arson in connection with Southern Oregon fire. A Southern Oregon man is accused of arson in connection with a fire that has caused major damage to several towns in Jackson County. Michael Jared Bakela, 41, has been arrested on two counts of arson, 15 counts of criminal mischief, and 14 counts of reckless endangerment. The fire that Bakela set is considered to be one of two origins of the Alameda fire, said Oregon State Fire Marshal's Office spokesman Rich Tyler. The two fires quickly merged. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office said in a news release Friday afternoon that on Tuesday evening, a resident of Phoenix saw a person later identified as Bacala lighting a fire behind their house on Quail Lane because there was an impending blaze. The residents who saw him set the fire had to flee their home. When state troopers and sheriff's deputies arrived, they saw Bacala standing close to a large fire that was threatening several homes. He was arrested and initially lodged in the Jackson County Jail on Tuesday on a charge of possession of methamphetamine. He remains in jail on the arson and criminal mischief charges. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that two people have been found dead in the aftermath of the Alameda fire. One, Tyler said, was determined to have been fire caused, but was near the first origin of the fire, not the one Bacala started. He said it's not clear yet whether the second death is connected to the fire. Officials say 50 people remain unaccounted for in the Alameda fire. So, it really, it, it does kind of stand to reason, right, that, that I mean, uh, given what we've seen from Antifa, from the looters and rioters uh, associated with the Black Lives Matter movement, who are throwing Molotov cocktails at government buildings, it's like, we, we have video of this. I mean, the people doing this are dumb but they're not retarded yes and i mean that in the most politically incorrect sense in, in a kind of literal way they're, they're not incompetent and remember when we hear statistics like oh 10 percent of americans are on this drug or that drug or dealing with this mental health issue or that mental health issue well look at how crazy people have been manipulated into these mobs and these riots and this looting and look at the justifications. And, and the, the BLM element of this really is a dangerous conflating factor because it gives people this justification for violence that I don't think we've ever experienced. I don't say ever, of course, historically. You look at lynchings. I mean, you want to go back and play that game. Yeah. And I've said this in, in, in sympathy to Black America. 
there, none of the damage that we're seeing today, you know, comes close to measuring up to the the suffering experienced by Black Americans at the hands of white Americans under slavery. Yes, I'm not I'm not trying to dismiss that historical perspective at all. But when you have taken that instead, you know, now any violence against white people is justified. Any violence, you know, if, if you're not, if you're a white person and you're not kneeling in front of a, a group of black people on the front lines, then, then you're part of the problem. If you're not out at the protests, if you're not there, then you're part of the white power structure. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And therefore, and here's, here's the new part. Therefore, because there and because there are a lot of us doing it to give us cover, it's now okay to use violence against people. It's okay to do property destruction. So I would be shocked if there weren't and like I mean I, I I'm almost like thinking if, if I was if I if I was coaching Antifa and I was like, all right guys, uh, you're willing to get arrested to do property damage. And look, if you you can start wildfires with Molotov cocktails, and all you're going to get is misdemeanor charges. Why assault people directly? Go start fires and do it covertly. Go out into the woods. Start a big fire. Drive away. You'll be safe. You know, who cares if thousands of acres burn? You'll be fine. And if, if, if people die, they weren't at Black Lives Matter protests, so they deserved it. And, and if not, they're just they're just collateral damage in this, this this war on the patriarchy, on the on 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 the white power structure. And all of this leads me to think that when there is such a huge financial incentive for this chaos to be used to manipulate the elections, and do you really think this is? Do you think it's above Donald Trump or it's beneath him to hire people to, to start wildfires in California? Because, you know, look what he gets to do. He gets to blame the government of California and Oregon for mismanaging their forests. And it's funny because most of the land in those states is owned by the federal government. But that doesn't stop Trump's propaganda machine from getting that out there. Is this going to suppress some Democrat votes, too? Oh, yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. Key bono. Who benefits? Who profits? Well, aside from natural disasters, or really any kind of disasters creating a rally around the leader effect, there are immediate beneficiaries in people who are responding to this and the political beneficiaries of how this is going to affect the election. Man, I'm, yeah. Man, I keep thinking about Smash Mouth at, at Sturgis. My world's on fire. How about yours? Uh, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. And, of course, I'm thinking about the Corona parody. Somebody once told me the virus was baloney. And this is just, it's election year. It's like all of this stuff, all this chaos, but it's, it's a new level of real chaos as opposed to fake chaos. I hope this represents us coming to a head of uh, you know, this the status manipulation in election years. I got one more headline. I got to wrap into this story about the fires from Newsweek.com. Some of Oregon's helicopters that would be used to fight wildfires are deployed to Afghanistan. Six of the military helicopters operated by the Oregon National Guard are unavailable to help fight the wildfires currently raging throughout the state because they were sent to Afghanistan earlier this year. The CH-47 Chinook helicopters, which can be used to perform aerial water drops during wildfires, traveled to Fort Hood, Texas for training in May. Along with an estimated 60 members of the Oregon National Guard's Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 168th Aviation Regiment. The six aircraft were deployed to Afghanistan after training, where they remained for overseas missions on Thursday. Director of Public Affairs Stephen Bomar with the Oregon Military Department told Newsweek. 
When the mission was first announced, the aircraft were expected to help troops replenish supplies in Afghanistan and transport equipment. We need more government, obviously. If the system that's failing isn't working, we need to try harder. We need to give them more money and more power. Just the scope of this. Now, just for historical perspective, as wildfires continued raging in California on Thursday, so too did they continue burning in Oregon. According to a statewide wildlife database, there were 37 active fires in Oregon. As of Thursday afternoon, and Brown said during a news conference on Thursday that nearly 900,000 acres have burned so far. Oregon has reported an average of 500,000 acres burned by wildfires each year since 2010. We've seen that nearly double in the last three days. This isn't an accident, people. Was it Antifa? I don't know. I don't care. Are the police lying about it? Absolutely. That's a that's a reasonable fact to conclude with near certainty from this. Oh yeah, police lie. <laughs> you didn't know. Um, and that this is all being set up for some kind of political manipulation to control you. I don't want to. I don't want to just blame the American people for this because, in a sense, ultimately, as De Tocqueville said, in democracy in America and in a democracy. The people will get the government they deserve. So I want to say this with an eye to pointing out how we can prevent this from happening in the future, how we can take this motivation away from government. And it's to not be manipulated when you see headlines like this. Right now, they want you to come to the conclusion that we need more government. because of the fires, because of the riots, because of the looting, because of COVID. And just scratch just one level below the surface and you'll see that government is primarily responsible for all of these crises we're experiencing today, one way or another. We have to try something different. All right.